This presentation, Case Finding, is sponsored by the National Cancer Registrar's Association Education Foundation. During this presentation, we will define what case finding is, describe methods of case finding, and explain why case finding is so important to the cancer registry. Case finding is a system of identifying every patient, inpatient or outpatient, who is diagnosed and or treated with a reportable diagnosis at a facility. All registries must perform case finding. Although registries may use different source documents, the procedures involved in case finding are similar. By law, almost all malignant cancer cases must be reported to the state. A couple of malignant cancers that are not reportable are squamous cell and basal cell carcinoma of the skin. Some benign central nervous system tumors, including brain tumors, are required by law to be reported as well. A hospital cancer committee or even some state central cancer registries may require the cancer registry to report other benign, borderline, and uncertain behavior cases. Examples of this include borderline ovarian tumors and carcinoma in situ of the cervix. There are two methods of case finding used by registries, active and passive. Active case finding involves registry personnel retrieving and reviewing source documents such as pathology reports or radiation oncology treatment summaries. The benefit of active case finding is that it's more thorough and accurate of the two methods used since registry personnel have knowledge of criteria and terminology to recognize reportable cases. Passive case finding occurs when other departments notify the cancer registrar of potentially reportable cases. A concern with passive case finding is that non-registry staff are not as familiar with reporting criteria and terminology, so potential cases may be missed and incomplete case finding may occur. Most registries use a combination of active and passive case finding methods. Various sources are used for case finding, but the two most important case finding sources are pathology reports and the disease diagnosis index. Pathology reports include surgical pathology, biopsy, cytology, bone marrow, and autopsies. The computerized disease diagnosis index is based off of all patients' coded encounters that are completed by coders. By utilizing the disease diagnosis index, the cancer register can determine if cases were missed from the other sources. Surgery schedules and reports can be used to identify port placements or seed implants for prostate cancer. Radiology reports are important to identify clinically diagnosed cases and cancer treatments that do not result in a pathology report. For radiation and medical oncology, treatment summaries and new patient listings are valuable sources for case finding. Logs from cancer-specific outpatient areas or clinics are important to include in case finding procedures as well. Case finding is necessary to ensure complete reporting. Cancer registries use many quality control procedures to guarantee all cases are captured and reported. Completeness logs can help monitor the number of cases found. Multiple completeness logs can be used to ensure all cases have been identified. For example, the number of cases by month and department, by month and year, or by year and cancer site. By comparing different monthly and or annual reports, Underreported areas can be identified so that immediate corrections can be made. Case finding is a system to identify all patients with a reportable neoplastic diagnosis. Cancer registrars utilize many sources to make sure that all cases are reported. Thank you. This presentation is brought to you by the National Cancer Registrars Association Education Foundation. For more information on the Education Foundation, go to www.ncra educationfoundation.org. For more information on the cancer registry profession, go to the NCR website at www.ncra-usa.org.